Hi, this is Gary with MacMOS Now. On today's episode, let's look at using image capture to access your scanner. So often when you buy an image scanner, you sometimes get a CD or DVD with software on it or something you're supposed to download to use to scan the images. Sometimes the software is good, sometimes it's not. But there's an alternative. Every Mac comes with a utility called Image Capture. This can be used for a variety of purposes including getting photos off of your iPhone and iPad and digital cameras. But it can also be used to access a scanner. And after you've installed drivers for the scanner often the Image Capture software is just as good as using the stuff you get from the manufacturer. So let's take a look at it. So here I've launched Image Capture and right away it's noticed that there is a shared scanner on my network. It's a wireless printer scanner and I can see it right here and select it. And I can choose the bottom scan size, uh, where to save the scan to. I want to open it up in preview so I can see it. I can click on show details and it will bring up all of the stuff that you might be used to seeing when you scan something in. So you can set the resolution and all sorts of other things, file format, and it's warming the scanner up now. You can hear it in the background. And you can see it's going to do a preview scan of what's in the scanner bed right now. And it's actually going to try to uh, figure out where the different portions of the image are. So if this was several photos it may have actually uh, figured out uh, what the separate items are. I can turn this off. Now a lot of this stuff depends on the capabilities of your scanner and also the drivers for the scanner. So it may change depending upon which one you've got, which is good, meaning that it will use the capabilities of whatever scanner you have. And then you can go and do the scan and I'm going to choose my own area here, have it scanned to the desktop, uh, set its name, the format. And so now that it's done, I get a list of scan results, kind of like the downloads folder. Uh, the file is actually here on my desktop as a JPEG, and I can open it and use it in whatever program that I want. Uh, and I can also change all these other things uh, here uh, for better scans. Now I find that I actually end up using image capture more often than the manufacturer software, just because once you know it, you can use it doesn't matter which scanner you're using. And uh, I often find that I get better results using it. So if you use an image scanner and you're using the manufacturer software, maybe try giving image capture a go and see if that works better for you. And if you just get a new scanner, maybe try going right to image capture and using that to capture your images rather than trying to install or update the software from the manufacturer. Until next time, this is Gary with MacMOS Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.